slightly, he's looking up. Masai on his shoulder says, no, I'll still tuck in behind you. And there's no way that Pakili is going to take the pace up. So eight kilometres reached in 21.37.8. Two kilometres to go, five laps. And look at Tedesse now. He's putting in a surge. He's really going for it, the Eritrean, on the back straight. And Masai is struggling to make up the ground. He's having to react. Kenanisa Bekele is tucked in in third place at the moment. But Steve, Zerzanay Tedesse is making his break at this stage. He is, but look, there was a moment there, I think, where uh, Bekele thought, I'll let Masai see if he can catch up. And unfortunately, Masai didn't put the hard yards in. And then he thinks, OK, I'll just go round you and click on to the back of the lead man. Tedesse looks up again and unfortunately sees the shadow of Bakili right on his shoulder this time. What a great run, though, by Tedesse, eh? He keeps looking up at that scoreboard, hoping that the green vest will disappear, but it will not disappear. There it is, locked in. Four laps to go now, and the Eritrean, Zerzanay Tedesse, is trying to run the sting out of the finish of Kenanisa Bekele. And Masai the Kenyan is hanging on for third at the moment. A 62-second lap by Tedesi. Well, that's great running. It's not enough to take the sting out of Bekele, though. 62-second lap at this stage of the race would, would actually kill anybody, and it's killed virtually everybody else off. And he is trying again, though, Tedesi. Down that back straight, he turns the screw a little bit more. Bekele looks behind to see where they are, and they're dropping off. Masai has gone. Masai, I think, is settling for the bronze. Uh, sorry, for the bronze medal. As Tedesi tries again, you've got to give this man credit. Trained for the London Marathon, disappointed there, but he's come back here with a vengeance in Berlin. Three laps to go now. Cersei Tedesi trying to break away from a man who has never been beaten over 10,000 metres. It looks as though Masai, the Kenyan, is going to have to settle for the bronze. It's going to be a tough haul in for him at the end. But Zerzanay Tedesse, as he's done all the way through this race, is pushing things on. But still, there is a shadow behind him. And that shadow is in the form of Kenanisa Bekele, the Olympic champion, the defending world champion, trying to replicate the achievements of his countryman, Haile Gabri Selassie, by securing a fourth world crown over 10,000 meters well now they're coming into really Bikini's territory aren't they he's moving out a little bit onto the outside of Tedesi he's not literally in his shoes anymore he's waiting and he's waiting you can almost sense the increase in his cadence he's chopping his stride length down a little bit keeping the cadence up just drifting along Tedesi looks up again now, with just two laps to go in the men's 10,000 metres, Tedesi of Eritrea has been pushing it along all the time. He's dropped everybody else, apart from the man that he really would love to drop. Kenisa Bekele is still there, is still waiting, playing that waiting game until the last lap. He's dropping his arms now. He's just relaxing behind, gearing himself up for what he is famous for, the last 400 metres of any major distance race. So they say a 63 second lap after 62 before, so the pace has dropped a bit. But the halfway stage was only two seconds over the top 12 men, but now the field is spread out. 550 metres to go. Zerzane Tedesse, the Eritrean, has given it absolutely everything. He has worked so hard to get away from the man who is sitting on his shoulder, tucking him behind. Just over 400 metres to go. Now they hear the bell. The final of the 10,000 metres for men. And Kennedy Bekele has tracked Zerzanay Tedesse all the way. And now the Ethiopian goes away. He is surging into the back straight. And we are watching one of the very greatest distance runners in the history of the sport. It's all over. It almost was all over from the start. They just could not do anything to destroy this man. And when it comes to the last lap, this is a man who is on his own, much the same as Usain Bolt, 
is the greatest sprinter of all time. This man is probably the greatest distance runner we have ever seen. He has won every single 10,000 meter race he's been in. The arm goes up, the finger goes up. I am the best 10,000 meter runner in the world. No one, but no one is gonna take it from him. Look at the gap that he's coming through now. He really has opened up a 60 meter gap in the last 400 meters. Absolutely incredible. What a superb race. The brave Kenyan coming in now for the bronze medal. He tracked it all the way and hung on. Matsai was fourth in Beijing. He's third this time. He does get his place on the podium. And we have just witnessed one of the greatest performances in distance running. Merger, the Ethiopian, comes in. It's a tale of East Africans crossing the line. There's Kip Yego. Well, this race, good run by the American there. Rick's but this, was. this race is all about one man. He has equaled the achievements of his countrymen, Haile Gabri Selassie. He's unbeaten over 10,000 metres. The Americans have done well here. He's absolutely out on his feet. And there's Dersene Tedesse's younger brother. He went with the pace early on and suffered. Merger joins his countryman, Kenanisa Bekele.